Hey what's good y'all, I'm Brimble Gaming, and I'm sure that by now you've already heard a million other YouTubers rant about how amazing Smash Ultimate's soundtrack is. Don't worry, I won't waste your time by repeating what they already said. However, something that most YouTubers neglect to mention is that because there are so many songs in this soundtrack, there's actually a good amount of pretty, well, bad songs as well. So today, I'll be listing what I find to be the top 10 worst songs that are in the official Smash Ultimate soundtrack. Why, you might ask? Because, in my opinion, it's funny to examine these incredibly bad music tracks and wonder how the heck they even made it into Ultimate. For the record, I'm not going to be ranking these on whether or not they fit with this fighting game, I'll be ranking them on how bad they are in general when they act as a standalone song apart from Ultimate. Also, keep in mind that since music is an incredibly subjective topic, it's almost guaranteed that you'll disagree with most of this list, so don't go into this video with an expectation for it to be perfect. With that all said though, let's begin. Number 10, Sand Ocean. Sand Ocean from F-Zero only barely makes this list due to how repetitive this song tends to be. Granted, it does have a lot more variety in its tune than a lot of the other songs on this list, which is why it ended up at number 10. However, its bland, simple, and repetitive melody still make it end up as one of the worst songs on this soundtrack, in my opinion. Number 9, Mock Rider. Also in my opinion, Mock Rider's loud and bombastic tune is nowhere near appealing to listen to. It mainly just sounds like a chaotic mess of electronic noises mixed in with a drum set. While it does have a constant rhythm going, the melody and harmony set up an incredibly unappealing tune overall. This track is definitely not one that I've listened to in my own time. Number 8, Sky Kid Retro Medley. This next entry is an incredibly bland, basic, and simplistic retro medley that barely has any complex structure to its melody and harmony. It also feels extremely unnecessary since there's already so many other retro medleys in this game that are better and way more familiar than this one. Regardless of that, Sky Kid Retro Medley is still definitely one of the worst overall songs in this soundtrack. Even for retro music, the overall tune in this one is just not pleasant to listen to. Number 7, Electroplankton. Electroplankton is probably the most interesting choice for this top 10, as I have pretty mixed feelings about it. On one hand, I find this track to be incredibly unique and have a lot of style to it. But on the other hand, it's not a good song, per se, as it's only just a beat of electronic drums mixed in with raindrops falling in patterns in the background. There is no melody, harmony, bass, or really any musical structure to it. Electroplankton isn't a bad production, but it is pretty dang bad music. So, I decided to include it on this list for those reasons. Number 6, DK Rap. And no, no, don't worry, don't worry, this is not the original DK Rap. This is actually a remix that Nintendo put on this soundtrack. And the DK Rap remix is for sure one of the worst songs and worst inclusions in this soundtrack, due to it being one of the worst remixes Nintendo's ever made. The song starts out decently, but progressively gets worse, starting with the flow of the original DK Rap song. Shifting into slightly computerized vocals and an increased tempo later on. And then throwing all the appeal of the song out the window by using Ear Rape. That's right, the official Nintendo company produced an official song with Ear Rape vocals in it. Let's just move on. Number 5, Famicom Medley. Out of all the retro medleys in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, this one is by far my least favorite. Not only due to how tinny and dirty it sounds, but also because all of the songs featured on this medley are already remixed or in another medley in their own series, which makes this medley all the more unnecessary. The Famicom medley can't keep a tune going for more than about 15 seconds until it jarringly switches to another one without any sort of transition to keep the unity or flow. I absolutely despise this medley, and by listening to it, I think y'all can understand why. Number 4, Flat Zone 2. Ah yes, everybody's favorite type of music. Random game and watch noises set to an incredibly sparse and soft melody drifting on and off in the background. I don't think I need to explain why this song made it this high on this list. Number 3, Freaky Forms Medley. This song is just creepy and unsettling. The ASMR voices and noises in the background, combined with the incredibly odd tune and harmony of the two wind instruments, really puts me on edge the more I listen to this song. Plus, the main tune isn't even good, and it only gets weirder and weirder as the song goes on. Why anyone would listen to this in their own time is beyond me. It is just so bizarre, unsettling, and really, really hard to listen to. Number 2, Menu, Super Smash Brothers. 
The menu theme for the original Super Smash Bros. game barely even classifies as music. While this menu theme does have somewhat of a distinguishable melody that pops in and out, it possesses almost no distinguishable rhythm or tempo. This song mainly just sounds like a bunch of noises strung together. On top of this, it's extremely repetitive and lacks any sort of variety that a good song should have, even for background music for a menu. All reasons why this takes number 2 on this list. Yep, that's right, y'all totally saw this one coming, didn't you? At number 1 in this list, the worst song in all of Smash Ultimate soundtrack is the 25 meters theme from Donkey Kong. It's just those same 5 notes, over and over and over for infinity. Why Nintendo didn't just remix this song instead of including the original is way beyond me. Anyways y'all, those were what I thought were the 10 worst songs in Smash Ultimate. A bit of a shorter video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click on that notification bell to never miss one of my top 10s ever again. And if you want to go rant in the comment section about how bad my taste in music is, you can go do that too. I don't care. With all that said, Bramble Gaming, over and out.